Hey, welcome back to Campervan Culture. For some reason this week we've had loads and loads of inquiries about what recovery gear we use when travelling on our trips. Well, if you're anything like us, there's going to be times when you're stuck. And if you're not stuck personally, you can always give a hand to someone who is stuck. So you should always carry some kind of recovery gear with you. It's never that long before someone comes along that can help you out and being equipped is top of the list. Let's see what we've got in front of us here. In our fully comprehensive recovery kit, we feel this is the bare minimum that you need to carry with you at all times if you're traveling a little bit off the beaten track. All of our straps are made for us at campervanculture.com right here in the UK. You get a total of four shackles in the kit. The two big ones are the biggest shackles that you can use on a synchro van. The medium one, which fits most 4x4s, and then you get a tiny one, just because that will come in handy if you come across a stuck quad or anything that's quite small. Remember, not everything's gonna be the size of you, and you might be helping other people out. As previously mentioned, our toe straps are made right here in the UK and are not imported from China. With toe straps, four meters is often long enough to get you out of a pickle, but quite often you need to double that length so the vehicle that's towing you is on firm ground, or you're on firm ground while towing a vehicle that's stuck. Safety straps, these are very important. You can also double them up as tree straps and you'll see how these are used shortly. Gloves, important for safety and for keeping your hands clean. Waterproof carry bag, well, great for carrying stuff and keeping all the muck out of your vehicle. Also good as a fluorescent marker, you'll see why shortly. We've obviously we want to be on solid ground there, so we need to join the straps together. You must never ever join two straps with a shackle because that's a missile ready to be launched if the straps fail or if the jacking point fails. The reason we've um, done two colours is so you know exactly where you are with these. So it's red into black through the loop. And black over red. Now when we pull these together you get this figure of eight affair. Now if you pulled those they would bind and you'd never get those undone. So you've got to put something in there to reduce the friction. I usually use a magazine of some sort or you can use grass but one thing that everybody carries in Morocco is a Chris Scott Morocco Overland book, so we'll be using that in this instance. Fold it over, put that in the gap, that will stop your straps from binding and you'll be able to take those out afterwards. We use the safety straps simply because if this shackle, I mean the shackles we use are pre-tested so that they're not going to fail but um, you never know about towing points and stuff like that on various vehicles. So if that was being pulled um, and that let go, that is a missile and that will kill you. Um, so just as a backup, we've, we use these um, safety straps. So I uh, just find a nice anchoring point. This, ca this case is my bash plate. It's not going to take any weight if it goes. It's just going to stop that shackle from flying off and killing somebody. Again, working very uh, methodically and clearly. Put your hand through that loop. Pull that through there like that, then put your towing strap through there, get your shackle, attach the shackle to the vehicle, and once that's fully tightened, just ease the pin off a quarter of a turn. 
and just make sure that's around there. So if that does fail, that'll pull and the safety strap will catch the shackle. Okay, now with all that done, we're all set up. All the tension's been taken out of the tall strap. The Chris Scott book's working well though, and we just use the bag just as a fluorescent marker. So we know exactly if we are being moved backwards and forwards. That'll give me a good view out of the van. Uh, Al's van's right-hand drive, so we'll be using that. And I'm left-hand drive. So I'll be using that as a reference as we're towing. So there we have it. For something that you can carry in such a small bag, you'd need this in your life. Be safe out there guys, and remember, get equipped. Mm -hmm.